Poultry farmers have always been told that they, that they should feed their chickens with more and more feeds so that the chickens can grow much faster and lay more eggs. But on this video, we're going to show you how organic acid can even make that process of gaining weight even much easier for your chickens and even get more eggs much more easier when you put organic acid. You're going to see how these acids, we have the citric acid, we have the, we have the citric acid, acetic acid and we have the butyric acid and then we have the formic acid how those four acids and at what level are they going to improve the performance of your chickens because you want to gain weight fast and take the products to the market and i'm going to review this scientific report that was carried out this scientific research was carried out in nigeria by these four researchers and the experiment was the effect of organic acid treated drinking water on growth of broiler chickens because there have been evidence that organic acid can support the growth of broilers through you know due to the antibacterial properties or effects and also the organic acid due to stimulate the growth of villi which usually absorb the nutrients that the chicken is able to digest and if it's your first time here, before we get into this video, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and comment below where you're watching this video from. So let's get started. So they were using 150 day old chickens and they had five groups of chickens. So if you have 150 birds on 150 chicks and you have five groups, you're going to have 30 birds in each group. So for group one, that's 30 birds for each group, you're going to feed these chickens with water without acids and then second group you're going to feed the C the acetic acid that is the AA the that group you're going to f to give them butyric acid in water the fourth group you're going to put the citric acid in water now and the fifth group you're going to put the formic acid in water and you're going to see what effect will this acid or this water without acid cause on the chickens and they had a level they were putting in two points as they were putting 0.25 percent level in drinking water so that is about 2.5 millimeters in every one liter of water 2.5 millimeters in one in every one liter of water and you know the feeding of this water with acid took place from the second week so the first week the birds were not given any acid they were just given the normal water so that they can you know they can survive well and they were you know and doing the experiment you are measuring what effect with these acids in water and this water without acid cause on feed intake water intake and and the finally body weight what will be the impact of these acids and they were using this you know this broader feed formulation formula to make the feeds because they made the feeds themselves and they had maize, soya bean, meal, palm, palm, kennel cake, fish meal, bone meal, salt, that is sodium chloride, lysine, methionine, and premixes. And you can see we have the starter and the finisher. So if you like to use this formation formula, you can screenshot right away so that we we'll go to our next part of this video. So, yeah, thank you so much for screenshotting. <laughs> Yeah, so let us see the effect that this organic drinking water, organic acid in drinking water will cause on the performance of your chicks or starter broilers. So, and we should start, you know, you know, analyzing this, analyzing this table from the bottom. You can see the, we have the feed ratio, water to feed ratio. and. The, uh, and you can see across all the acids or and water without acid, we can see that the one with BA, that is the butyric acid, had the least amount of water to feed ratio amount, and that is 1.88. And and as you go up, you can see the daily daily water intake. We can see that the water without acid is 130, and we can see the one again with the butyric acid is lower. That is 1.7. You can see the rest is almost the same. And what about protein efficiency level? Because you know acids usually acids are require the stomach of the chicken usually produce acid in the stomach so that you can create a conducive environment for the pepsin for the pepsin and acid to be able to digest the proteins that the chickens have eaten. So what impact did this 
pro did this acid play that part and causing free protein deficiency you can see also for the water without you know for the water without the acid we have 2.44 and we expect that water with acid it should, it should be much higher and again we can see again butyric acid is the one you know the lowest and and it is almost the same as the water without acid so again butyric acid, acid is not good and you can see for the acetic acid uh, for the acetic acid is the one which is higher and you can go right away into the daily feed intake you can see that it is almost the same across all you know it's, a, it's around 57 grams per day and the uh, daily feed weight gain you can see again for the you know, considered for the water without acid it is 29 grams yeah and you can see for the butyric acid again it is just that just the difference of, of, of around one gram that is not what we expect when you give us it and you can see again for the acetic acid is the one leading with almost six grams much more and you can see the final weight after the starter that is about 21 days uh, uh, i think this is yet yet 21 days old between 21 and, and 8 and 28 days the acetic acid one was the one which, which was much more higher across all the acids yeah so let us check what effect it did had on the finisher broilers again we should start from the bottom and we can see that the ratio which is the least again and wow and this time again you can see that the butyric acid is even much lower than the water which had no acid so again butyric acid it seems that it is not functioning and you will see why why butyric acid is not giving the impact that we want on our chickens and again the feed intake or the water intake is below what we expect for the butyric acid and you know it is higher on the citric acid and the acetic acid protein efficiency again for the acetic acid is much more higher with 12.12 daily protein intake almost the same across all of them and you can see for the dairy feed intake almost the same across all of them but for the ones with but for the one with just water without acid it is much lower and almost the same level as the butyric acid yeah and you can see let's go to the final body weight the final body weight for this one for the you know for the one with no acid is 70 is 1.7 kilograms the one with acetic acid is the one which is much higher with 2.05 kilograms and the lowest is again butyric acid which is you know as you can see it is higher higher than the water without acid but but it is lower across all the water with acids so let us check why the one with butyric acid was not performing well this is because butyric acid usually produces a fall order that's you know that smell is like it's like that smell for fermented cassava so the chickens were you know were kind of not striking it or they were kind of affected with that smell of the butyric acid and that's why for the, for every case we have seen the butyric acid is not producing the same better results so they concluded that addition of acetic citric and formic acid in drinking water improved performance of broilers over the control and are therefore recommended and for me i will recommend acetic acid because you have seen that it is much better compared now to the two acids so yeah so i hope that, I hope that you can, now you have seen that the that not only feeding with the best feeds but also putting acids on and other growth promoters in your broader chicken water and feeds is going is also going to boost the growth of your chickens so that means that you're going to have more money and we ask what will happen if we give this to layers so you have seen that it is increasing weight or and, and it's making the size of size of the phyllai much more bigger so no more nutrients are more nutrients are absorbed so for me i would say that also for layers it's going to increase you know the egg production because now the chicken will have more energy to produce or to make the egg so i hope that this video is going to help you make that decision of putting organic acid and you can check out this video here to learn how aloe vera yeah aloe vera gel is going to increase the growth of your chickens